Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn the difference between transform versus add columns in Power BI. So transform versus add column, these are two options that we have in the Power Query Editor. Basically, what you find is, and that's why it might be a little bit confusing at first, is that a lot of options for manipulating and modifying data exist in both menus. So these are the two menus. If you open the Power Query Editor, you will find that here we have the option to transform. And when you click on transform, you will find a whole ton of features and operations that you can perform here under the transform. However, if you click on add columns, you will find another as well menu that appeared. And a lot of them are actually kind of maybe pretty much the same between the two. So it's really important to understand the difference of when to choose transform and when to choose add column. So transform is used to modify existing data. So if you have existing column and you would like to transform that column, for example, if you would like to maybe remove that column, fill in missing values, perform data aggregation, replace values, you can go ahead and select options here from the transform menu. However, if you'd like to add a new column or create new columns, then you need to go to the add column menu. I know it may be sound a little bit intuitive, okay, but trust me, you might get as well a little bit con kind of confusing at some point, especially if you choose the wrong one. So when you choose add column, you will find that the size of the data is actually going to increase because now you are adding additional columns to your data. That's it. Let me shift back to Power BI and show you guys the difference between add column and transform column in action. All right. So right now we are in Power BI again, and we would like to open the Power Query Editor. To open that, you need to go ahead and click on Transform Data. If you click on it, that is going to open our Power Query Editor. And if you recall, we already read two data sets. During the demo, we will be dealing with the happiness report data. This is a 2019 data set. And of course, for the practice opportunities, some, some of them, we will be using the 2015 data sets. Okay. So right now, what you see here is we have our transform option. So if you click on transform, you will find that here I have many, many options available. For example, you can replace values. You can fill in values. You can, for example, unpivot columns. You can calculate, for example, statistics. You can calculate some standard, basically, math operations. And you can also do rounding as well to these specific columns too. And that's under the transform menu. However, if you go back and you click on add columns, well, you will find actually additional features as well. And some of them are actually kind of pretty much the same. You will find there is a rounding option, which was existing in the transform menu as well. There is also statistics. You will find it has been disabled here, and I'm going to show you why in the next lesson. You will find also standard here is also available when we go ahead and click on uh, add columns. So that's why, because some options are common between the two, it might be a little bit confusing. But don't worry, I'm going to show you to a lot of examples happening right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first head to add columns. Okay, so that will be the first step. And then I would like to grab the country or region column here. And I would like to basically um, uppercase the first letter only. To do that, if you click on format, you will find that here we have a lot of options available, specifically when we deal with text data. And what I would like to do right now is I would like to basically capitalize each word. So if you click on capitalize each word, you will find that right now what happened is, we created, so that was the original column. If you scroll to the right, you will find that right now we added an additional new column called capitalize each word. And here I have Finland, Denmark, Norway, and you will find the first letter here has been uppercased, okay, or converted to a capital letter, basically. So if you notice that this operation kind of doesn't make sense because now I have the data included in kind of twice, one with lowercase that was a raw data and one with uppercase here, correct? That's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this step. And that's why I would like to show you how you can actually go ahead and remove steps in Power BI. 
On the right-hand side here, you will find there is an additional step, applied step called inserted, capitalize each word. And to remove it, you just click on that X here, and that is going to delete everything. Just go back and delete the process that we have done. So what I'm going to do right now, what we have done so far is we chose the wrong menu. and That was the add column menu. What I wanted to do is I would like to go to the transform menu here, and then head back to our country or region, and then do the transform on the original raw data set. So I want to take that data, that specific column, and convert only the first letter to uppercase. You will find that the option is still included here. So under the format, you will find that capitalize each word is included. And when you do it, here we go. Now we perform transformation to the existing column. So we did not add anything. If you scroll to the right, nothing has been added here. And of course, a step has been added here as well to capitalize each word. And this is simply the difference between transform and add column features. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.